Greetings everybody. Kind of an unexpected live video here. Got some surprises in the mail today and kind of wanted to go over some of that. So I just want to say that um, I know we'll probably get some viewers in here in a bit, but I wanted to wait till some of them got in. But at any rate, you know, without further ado, I want to show everybody. So I got this cool dual switch in for my beta saber. And for those of y'all that don't know, this is a KR Sabers um, flagship hilt. And this was etched by Pete Sandoval of Smuggler's Outpost. And you can see it's got my logo in it. It's my saber. My personal saber. And this is going to be a beta saber for something. But got the last piece I needed for it today, which was the switch. And then I also have Dimitri Stock's V3 adapter. Got the holder and the and the cover from Saber Bay and the um, the V3 adapter. Tested that last night on Monday Megtooth Live. If you missed it, also have my um, Arkham uh, Shredder uh, stainless steel razor blade plug for my one inch saber. This would be my blade plug for this hilt. And it's already got a Sotomayor chassis in it, which is a Smuggler's Outpost chassis. I'll show you guys that. There's the simple Smuggler's Outpost chassis, removable 18650 battery, and the profi board goes there. But, I got another package in today, and I got to cover up the address before I th throw it out there on the... Uh... Actually, I'm just going to turn it over, because I don't even want y'all to see who it's from. But we're going to open this live. I'm kind of afraid to open this because I know what's in it. And, uh, you know, I don't want to mess it up. Because what's in here is kind of valuable. Let's pull it out, shall we? Oh, boy. What have we here? What have we here? A world premiere, unless you're on the Crucible. Um... Boy, what is this madness? Oh boy, what's in the package? What is in the package? Can't even get to it. He packed it well. And there she blows. This is something demonic. What is this? It's got some extra pads on there, stuff we haven't seen before. Developed by Frederick Hubinet. Oh, look here. Profi board 3.7. There she goes. So, it is the new version of the Profi Board. I am a beta tester for the new version of the Profi Board. I have been wiring open source Saber since Teensy Saber. Um, this is Teensy Saber, y'all. This was the sandwich board. And the sandwich board that went onto the Teensy was actually also made by Frederick Cubinet. This was called the Teensy Saber, and this is Teensy Saber V3. And then... I was a beta tester for Profi 1.5, and this is Profi 1.5. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I was also a beta tester for Profi 2.2, and notice this one is red. That's a big FU to Jordan. I uh, finally got my red Profis, and they weren't from Jordan. But anyway, got my red Profi. This is a 2.2. I was also a beta tester on Profi 2.2. And now I'm going to be the beta tester on Profi 3.7 with um, a lot of Smuggler's Outpost stuff, Sotomayor. Um, you know, the, the hilt, which was etched by Pete Sandoval. Uh, it's got a Robert Sotomayor chassis in there. I've got Robert Sotomayor's button solution. Thank you, Robert. Got those in the mail today. Fantastic. That is what I wanted. As you can see, that's where... She's going to go. I like mine vertical. I know some dudes do them horizontal, but I like mine vertical. And um, ready to start installing this saber. So I, I've already got the, the stock pixel adapter put together. I'll show you guys this on my test rig real quick. So 
Some some people haven't seen the Dimitri stock adapters yet, the new ones, but they're actually pretty impressive. Well, I guess it would help if we put a battery into my test rig, wouldn't it? I wonder if that battery's dead. This is the weapon of the Jedi Knight. There we go. I just didn't have the battery fully seated. There's Dimitri Stock's new adapter, which is pretty wild. For those of y'all that haven't seen that. My test rig is a prop is a uh, prism. Kind of like a quasi fire blade, so it's a little screwy here, but that's Prism's fire blade. At any rate, that's the Dimitri stock adapter on my test rig that's going into this hilt. So my beta saber is ready to roll with Profi 3.7. I'm pretty proud of you know the fact that I got chosen to be a beta installer again for Profi 3.7. We're pretty excited about these boards. They've got a lot more memory. That's the cool part about them, a lot more memory. Um, onboard charging through the USB port, by the way. Um, no more need to install a, uh, a uh, recharge port. You can install, you can charge right here through the USB port. And um, those are the big features. But it's also, Frederick updated the SD card reader to be SDIO, which uses SPI, which is a lot faster. And a um, lot faster, a lot more memory, and this new SD card reader and the programming and logic he's using to deal with all this allows him to put the SD card to sleep and for the buttons to wake up the profi from deep sleep. So, <laughs> Frederick's finally hoping the third time's a charm. Because Deep Sleep did not work out on Profi 1.5. It did not work out on Profi 2.2. But we do think it's going to work out on the uh, third version of Profi. Frederick's done a lot of engineering. And we're excited to get the testing going. So that whenever the chip shortage is over with. Uh, these can be manufactured by KR Sabres, Electronics 123. And all the other people that manufacture them. But at any rate. Just wanted to get a quick vid out there for everybody to let them know. The goings on, and for those that haven't seen it, this is the Profi 3.7. I wish my camera didn't suck so bad, but you can see the label right above my thumbnail. Profi board PB 3.7. So this is the brand new version of the Profi board, and it's you know very similar to the 2.2. It's the same size. Here's the 2.2 for size reference. So you can see they're the same size, but the you know it's a lot different. There's a lot of cool stuff on there. There's a lot of different cool stuff on there, and I'm excited to get going on the beta test. Now there's some pads that I was seeing on the initial drawings. Oh no, there they are. So if you look back here, I'm trying to get some light on the subject. Back here, you can see these other pads. These are remote pads to run a remote USB. So you can wire on a remote USB via these three pads here, um, which is pretty cool. You know, the, the Profi 2.2 didn't have that, so the Profi 3.7 does. But for those of y'all that have never subscribed to my YouTube channel, if you go to www.youtube.com forward slash Sabers, you can subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell. I do a live video every Monday night. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. I have a lot of technical glitches, but... If you're wanting to get into Profi Sabers and learn about Profis, we do a lot of um, Profi videos on my channel. And we welcome you every Monday that I'm on. You hit that notification bell, you'll be notified when I go live. Usually it's Monday nights at 8.30 p.m. But at any rate, the evolution of Profi continues. And uh, I'm proud to be a beta saber. Thank you, Robert Sotomayor and Smuggler's Outpost and, you know, for all the stuff that's going to help me get this saber done. 
That's awesome. Your button solution is the bomb. That's I love it. It's in my other uh, flagship too. So I'm excited about that from from uh, Robert Sotomayor and the chassis that's in here, which is a pretty simple chassis. And of course, Pete Sandoval that did all the etching, including my logo, which is pretty awesome. It's my saber. I know a lot of people are like, why would you put your logo on there? Well, it's my saber. It's my flagship. It's a flagship for Meg 2 Sith. So why wouldn't I have my logo on it? It's my saber and do what I want. Having fun with it. I'll get some more KR flagships and won't put my logo on them, but for those I wanted my logo on them. Um, at any rate, thank you for watching this exciting video, and may the force be with you, or the dark side as it were. Thank you everybody for watching, as usual. I really appreciate y'all tuning in on my channel, and as always...